Welcome back with Mike Caravana from Denison. If you guys could go back and play the first half the way you did the second, you saw the face-off issue and obviously started to clear the ball a little bit better. Perhaps a different result here as you fall to Dickinson 14-9? Yeah, I mean, but you got to give them credit. Obviously, they played a better game over 60 minutes than we did. They were more consistent in what they were doing than we were doing. We were Obviously, we had moments that we were very good and other ones that we weren't. Um, I think they deserve to win the game. They're probably about four goals better, one goal period, per se, is what I just told the team. And um, I think the face-offs were, was a key issue, certainly, uh, for them. I thought that their ability to win face-offs and wing plays, some tough ground balls in the middle of the field was good. And I thought, and Cole made some saves for them when they needed to make them. So the combination of the two in lacrosse, if you're, it's tough to overcome if you don't get the ball enough. Um, and, you know, and then they make some saves, and we had some failed clears with some, you know, all those combined was just uh, too much for us to overcome, I think. I was going to say, though, at the same time, your team fought back, and at 10-7, you had the ball multiple times to maybe get it there uh, to 10-8. Offensively, Brooks Davy again, as advertised, what makes him such a special player? Well, Brooks, is a, he's a very good shooter, obviously, and when he gets his hand free, he's a good shooter. He's improved his, athlete, his athleticism, I think, over the last couple of years, which has made him more of a threat as a dodger and a shooter out of the dodge, which he was pretty good today at a little bit. And, um, you know, so we had our chances, like I said, at, at that moment. But I thought we – I think we kind of had some good shots and Cole made some good saves, and then they scored and they won the face off. And, you know, so like I said, it's a, it's a tough combination. I think we got it and we failed to clear. You know, the three things that kind of was not consistent for us today are clearing – our, uh, fa you know, I mean, our face-off play and uh, Cole's play in the goal really was, you know, I mean, kind of kept catching up with us a little bit and kept putting us. We just, you know, like a mouse chasing around a, sure. uh, in a squirrel's cage a little bit, you know. So it was a little rough. You guys have been pretty loyal to this event. What is it about this weekend that, uh, regardless of result, helps your team get better? And obviously, you have a chance to, to pick up a couple of quality opponents. Sure, here. sure. For us, I mean, you know, this is our fourth game versus a top, you know, 12 team, and uh, so you know, it's been good for us. I mean, um, you know, we recruit with the idea that we're going to play for championships, both in our league and and at a national level. And you know, this is helping us, I think, learn about ourselves. I told my assistants before the game, we want to make sure that we're. You know, learning about ourselves and what we need to do. And I certainly think for most teams, I think most coaches will tell you at the end of this event tomorrow, you know, you kind of know where you're at a little bit. Sure. And, you, and, and, and it's kind of right in front of you. So you really can, can do a self-assessment and move forward from it in a very positive way if your aspirations are to play back again amongst the best teams in the country in April and May. So. All right, Mike, appreciate the time. Best of luck tomorrow. Thank you. Hopefully we'll play well. We All need right. to. Mike Caravana joining us here. Dickinson wins game two by a score of 14-9. to nine.